What's up, God? Twin Flame Tuesday. Let's do a reading um, for October 15th. It's already October 15th, but I didn't do one for today. So I just want to do a reading to cover the masculine and feminine energies and see what's going on out there in our internal and external um, twin flame partnership and union. Today's reading was brought to you by Master Manifestor Cheat Sheet. I created a, teach, a cheat sheet explaining the manifestation process and how you can manifest anything you want. I use this to manifest like I had 106000 in student loans and didn't pay anything. I, I paid $60. But after I started manifesting, I didn't make one payment and it was all forgiven. And I just lay out the process that I use to manifest the desires of my heart. Anything I want. And it's 11.11 and it's, the link is in my description. You can order it from my website if you like. Anyway, so let's get to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull some Oracle and just check out the overall like energies for both masculine and feminine. And then we're going to go from there. I have so I have a few videos to do today. So I think I'm going to do air sign videos today. I have a video that I'm going to do um, on another topic. So... Ooh. Okay, so I had a dream about someone who is a part of my twin flame journey and things are about to change very quickly and decisions are about to have for me at least decisions are going to have to be made. I, you know, it could be for all of us. It's some energies in the universe that's leading us to forward movement. And that means things are going to start to change and our soulmates and twin flames are going to start to manifest and we have to make a decision. So a lot of us will have to choose or some of us will have to choose between who we perceive to be our twin flame and a soulmate. So that's not so easy. You may think, oh, I'm going to choose a twin flame over a soulmate, but you just never. What if the twin flames put us through so much? And your twin flame, you may be connected in the spirit room, but not so in the 3D. Like you may have experiences with them or him or her, but not so much with your soulmate. You have more 3D experience with your soulmate versus you have a 5D experience with your soulmate, but more 3D experience. And you have also 5D, probably more 5D experience with your twin flame than 3D. So it doesn't, it's not going to be... A decision that's so easy but nevertheless we will have to dig into our instincts and to our intuition and make a decision that's best for us because it's, it's almost time so I just want to look into these cards the guilt card is um, can be literal but you know I'm gonna read what it means but the guilt card is on the bottom of the deck it could be guilty you could feel guilty for not wanting to choose your twin you could feel guilty because you like your soulmate but the guilt card is like, you know you have to leave someone behind. So you could be feeling guilty. But let's see what it says in here just to add to it. It could be also some of the energies that's in the actual meaning of the chakra wisdom oracle card. So. Mmm. Listen, 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 listen. This card indicates deep caring and protection from emotional hurt through standing strong in your emotions so it's like oh you you can be your decision making can and who to leave behind and who to keep can be deeply rooted in your need to protect yourself again we've been on these twin flame journeys we've been through some of us have been through turmoil with our twins and even soulmates, you know, teaching us lessons and helping us to grow in this process and become one with ourselves. You might feel the need to protect yourself or I might feel the need to protect myself. When it's time to come together and make this decision, it's like I can't, it's almost like making a decision out of pain instead of love. It's like making a decision to protect yourself out of pain, out of fear, instead of out of love. Like, oh, I'll choose this person. I know this person won't hurt me or leave me. Or this person did a lot of damage. I'm not choosing them anymore. But it's like making a decision. Mm -hmm. 
Facebook irritates me. Like, I don't like being interrupted. Nothing is so important that a random person on Facebook can send you a message and interrupt your video. Anyway, making a decision out of pain instead of love. Once your mind is made up, you can see when others have tried to manipulate you, reclaim your life. Woo, child, somebody gonna try to make you feel guilty. Somebody is going to use your guilt against you. Use your pain against you. It's like someone wanting to be with you and you want it and you considering someone else and then they're like, didn't that person do this to you? Didn't that person say this about you? Or that person was just married. Or it's just using words against you, trying to make you feel guilty and manipulate you into making a decision. That's crazy. That's crazy. So beware of people trying to manipulate you into making a decision. So we have so many. What is this? What is this? It's time to face my true feelings. Look at that third eye. Look at it. It's like, excuse my nails. I, I just got them done and they're already, that's irritating. This is gel polish. But it's like, you have to dig deep within your instincts into your intuition and make a decision or to figure out what you really want from your mate, what you really want out of life and who you want to spend it with. Crazy, right? Wow. It's like who becoming one with who you are as a person and with your true emotions and feelings and using that to make a decision. This pagan, what is this? Alright. Hmm. Maybe some feelings are dissipating. But mm, this is saying it's the difference between a daydream and a well thought out plan. So knowing fallacy from reality but what I really feel like this is about coming one with your emotions and knowing feelings that are no longer there and following your true intuition following your intuition in your heart and your emotions helping you to make a decision to make a decision as it pertains to who to partner with your soulmate or your twin flame child we're gonna have some big decisions to make so, while you're making these decisions, watch out for manipulation. And I just grabbed this one, so I'm going to use this one. Watch out for manipulation, queen of air. Clear th a clear thought and a clear decision. Hmm. Scorpio might be getting in the way of your clear decision making. Because the death card was right under there. But it's like... Don't allow yourself to be manipulated by a karmic, by a friend, a, a, anyone. This is something, a decision you're going to have to make on your own. Soulmate or a twin flame. Child. I got cards flying the fuck out. Nine of air. We know this is not going to be easy for us. Seven of cups. Let's start there. And you might have to transition. You might have to move. Like, it's so many things. Like, a well-thought-out plan, like they said, it's so many things you have to consider. Like, I have a son, so moving kids. Or you might have kids. Moving kids. Or moving, relocating a job. Relocating your life. Uh, distance. It's like, so many decisions that have to be made. And you don't know what to do. It's causing you some sort of anxiety. Seven of water resonates with the seven of cups. Nine of air resonates with the nine of swords. So it's like, <laughs> what should I do? Not knowing what to do. And it's causing you an anxiety. So I just blanked out. I don't know why I just blanked out like that. But I just, I started, I had a thought and I just started blanking out. But anyway, let me pick these cards up. Three more fail. Three more fail on the floor. High Priestess, Five of Cups, Three of Fire. I 
love these cards, guys. So, I am so embarrassed by my nails. High Priestess, Five of Water. Let's start there. Well, let's start Three of Fire. Who to move forward with? And that's Aries Energy. The will to begin again. But it's like for movement and progress and qu quickly coming together. But with the High Priestess and the Five of Cups is following your intuition. Who to let go? Who do I let go? And the answer is within. We already got connecting with our true emotions, a true self. The answer is within. You will know intuitively whether it is best for you to choose your soulmate or your twin. And a lot of people gonna think, choose your twin, choose. No, that's not how it works. It's not that easy. You have the ability to choose who you partner with in life. It's not a dictatorship. This twin flame journey is not a dictatorship. You can choose. And I've been saying that in most of my readings lately. You can choose. I can choose. You can choose. Especially when a choice presents itself. Okay. Dang, these cards are very active today. Eight of air. Come on now. We're not going to be feeling all tied up. One of air. Eight and one is another nine. Ninety-nine is like the number of light, wisdom. So it could be wisdom and discernment that you have to use. Nines is like, I think of the hermit. And I had 99 in a reading earlier. It's like, it's the lump, it's like life, but it's also wisdom and discernment. It's like, you're gonna have to use that, but being all tied up, not knowing who to choose, because the ace of, you know, the one of air and the eight of air. First of all, look at all that's going on. This is the energy of not being able to choose, not knowing what to do. It's, it's not God energy. It's not God-like energy. It's not divine energy. It's, it's karmic energy. It's demonic energy. And it keeps you all tied up and in bondage and from forward movement with your partner, whether it be your soulmate or your twin flame. One of air. Clarity of thought, choosing one, making a clear decision on who to move forward with, with the one. This is feminine energy. This is feminine energy. So whoever resonates as divine feminine, knowing that we both have masculine and feminine energies, but it's the one that began this journey with the knowledge that this is what was going on, like the insight and clarity. We know the masculines were on the journey as well, but the feminines... We're the ones on the journey initially with, you know, enlight sorry, enlightenment. Oops, sorry. Mm -hmm. Night of water. Somebody being left out in the cold and it's gonna feel like punishment. Child, oh my God. The punishment card is like, I believe it's like the judgment card in the regular deck. But what I'm getting here, one of fire, when you choose, when you choose one with that one of fire on the bottom of the deck, when you choose one, it's going to feel like punishment to the other one. You see how this knight is in the water looking stupid and then you have punishment here. So they're going to feel like the masculine, it could be the masculine or your soulmate, but I feel like this is masculine energy. feel like maybe you'll choose a soulmate, but it's like feeling punished. When you make this decision, king of air, king of air makes clear decisions. Like, okay, this is what I want. You know, it's not hiding, not hiding. It's like, I'm letting you know, this is what I want. What is this? And here it's like, she she didn't choose me. Like, I feel punished. I feel punished for maybe not making a decision to be with her when she came earlier. The feminine 
when I had the chance earlier. I feel punished. Like I feel like she should, he or she should be a part of my life and he or she isn't. They chose someone else. I feel punished because I feel like the feminine is punishing me for the journey or, or the things that occur within the journey. Feeling punished. And I'm going to leave this here because my instinct is telling me to leave it there. The moon right under there. Making a decision in the dark to choose one. And the other feels punished. Interesting, interesting infant state. I don't know why I want to pull this clarifying deck, but I am. I try to sometimes shut off, sh like, voices. Um, but I'll listen today. Choosing one. Eight of Swords. The Hermit. So when you're in this Eight of Swords energy, seek the light. Seek enlightenment. Seek truth. Seek spiritual guidance. So in order to get out of that all tied up energy, pray. Meditate. Attune to your inner emotions and feelings. Meditate on your inner emotions and emotions and feelings. Balance your chakras. But really get to a place of stillness and peace within yourself so that maybe you can hear those voices and those voices will lead you and your inner emotions and instincts and intuition will lead you to a good decision the death card it could be you know to a decision to end one and begin with another one it could also be this putting silence to the scorpio in your ear but it, because the death card came twice. But uh, becoming one with the light so you can figure out who do you end with and who do you begin with. And who's trying, who's the opposition trying to steal it from you? Probably that Scorpio. My karmic is Scorpio, so I resonate with that. All right, so I'm gonna pull a few more cards. Because I'm going to do more readings today, so I'm not going to make this too long. Interesting. So when the Queen of Wands shows up, I I don't know why, but I always think of timing. Like someone wanting to move very fast. So the tied up energy could also be because you're going to have to make a decision to move or transition um, and it's going to have to be made like quickly. Someone is going to rush you. So while you're in this moon energy, it's like being rushed to make a decision to transition your life, trans, you know, move somewhere really quickly and not knowing what to do. <laughs> not wanting to move so fast, but life is moving really quickly so you have to make this decision in the dark you can't wait because it's the it's the aspect of your life where it's just your life at that moment is requiring you to make a quick decision another nine seek enlightenment seek the light what is this The Empress and the Two of Two of Wands. Don't get pregnant. I'm not telling you what to do, but someone's strategy be, could be to get you pregnant. And you have the Seven of Cups here and the Union here. So it's like, and I'll leave this at the bottom of the deck. Someone's strategy to confuse you is to get you pregnant. Could be that death card, Scorpio. So don't get pregnant or don't have sex. I ain't telling you what to do. You do. It's your life. But if this is for me, maybe I just won't have sex. I, I'm, I don't anyway. I'm not active. <laughs> Um, only routinely, but anyway, someone's strategy is to get you pregnant, to confuse you, 
So be careful. Be careful. Because it's really time for your life to transition. It's time for masculine and feminine energies to come together. It's time. It's really near. It's close. So you already know, if you resonate with this reading, that you're going to be in an energy of confusion. You're going to feel tied up. You're not going to know what to do. That's not the energy you want to add a baby in. That's not the energy you want to create life in. You want to create life in the energy of love, in the energy of security. First of all, independently secure with your finances, with who you are as a person, with your life, with what you want to do in the next three to five years and 10 years. Security. And in your partnership, in your relationship, foundational as a parent, foundation as a person, in the environment that you want to raise your child in. A state of confusion is not where you want to bear a child in. We've made our mistakes in our 20s. And I'm not saying making babies is a mistake, but you move quickly in your 20s without thinking through having kids without thinking through some of us. You don't want to do that to yourself. If you're in your 20s right now, this is like me speaking to you. You don't want to do that to yourself. You create an energy of love, security, stability planning strategy not in confusion and don't allow anyone to use that to confuse you so if you're already pregnant and someone is trying to confuse you and clout your vision for making a decision don't let them use that can we say guilty so this could even be already having a kid you don't even have to be pregnant you can already have a kid or be pregnant and they use that the karmic could be using that against you to confuse you and keep you from union. So it's like one of their strategies is going to use your kids against you to make you feel guilty about this union. But you've been warned. You know it's to come. So don't let them use your kid against you. So I'm going to leave this reading there. I don't even know what I'm going to title this. Divine Feminine Chooses Karmic. I mean, has a choice between a soulmate or a twin flame. <sighs> Karmic tries to confuse her. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you for liking, watching, subscribing, posting, sharing. Every minute counts. Every like counts. Every share counts. Please like, 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 share, 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 comment, comment, comment. And if you would like to learn more about the Master Manifestor Cheat Sheet, click the link in my description and in the comments so that you can purchase it for $11.11. So a seed into the manifestation process of your desires. I wish you love. I wish you clarity, which is light, enlightenment and more light. Peace. Visit AshleyGillard.com to order your Master Manifesto Cheat Sheet.